Yesterday, we spoke with Major Jerry Friday in our studio about the Salvation Army's efforts to help those victims of the tornadoes. Well, today, Salvation Army Greater New Orleans Area Commander Major Christopher Thornhill joins us from right outside Rolling Fork at the Incident Command Center. And uh, thanks so much for joining us today, Major Thornhill. How are things there and, and what are you seeing on the ground? Well, today is really business as usual. The Salvation Army has geared up different mobile feeding units and we're going out to the Rolling Fork area as well as to the Silver City, Winona, Black Hawk, Summerfield, West Amory, and other surrounding areas providing food, water, and spiritual care for those who are needing it. We're starting to see some power restoration in the Winona area. In fact, from reports we heard today, they're actually gonna be starting school back up, I believe tomorrow or in the next, by uh, next week. Uh, so things are happening, good, but there's still a lot of work to do, and especially in the Rolling Fork area. Um, and, but the Salvation Army is there providing needed support and materials for those who desperately need help. Uh, so I'm just glad that we're there working with Walmart and, and other agencies to provide those services. Right, and of course, uh, Mississippi is known for its resiliency. These are really tough times, especially there in Rolling Fork where there's just so much devastation. What are you seeing as far as the resilience there and people working together to make the best of a really bad situation? What we have found is that families are moving in with other families, whether they're family or not. And you know whether they're related, that doesn't matter. They're all members of the Rolling Fork community. So they're, they're pulling together for those that need help. Uh, there are those that have lost everything. Uh, a brief story, I was coming back from Rolling Fork the other day and I just saw a family sitting around a table and around them was everything they owned. It was just strewn out throughout the property and even yards away. And they just felt like they had no hope. Well, that's what the Salvation Army is there to provide some hope for them that tomorrow may still be a challenge, but it'll be better than where they are today. And so I'm real happy with that, but it's, it's not looking good, still power lines everywhere, but there's, you know, power is being restored. Power companies are out here doing, doing their work as quickly and safely as possible. All right, Major Thornhill, thank you so much for that uh, live update and uh, stay safe out there. And I'm glad you're there to help people out. Thank you very much. And we will continue to be here as long as we're needed.